somebody. Wanna do arts and crafts with somebody. picture. Oh, look what they did with the leaves. Oh, this is so... Hey! I didn't even know you guys was there. So you came back? I knew you would because you just had to. I was just watching all of your amazing videos from last week's painting challenge. I was so amazed by all of your pictures last week and the way you guys killed that painting challenge. Listen, I can't wait to tell you about the new challenge for this week. But before we get into it, if you're new, I'm Miss Tasha from the Brandon Boys and Girls Club. And yes, this is Painting with Miss Tasha. So this week, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. And I know you're going to like it. And I know the people that you're going to give it to are going to love it. So can you tell me what this person, this person, this person, this person, and this person? Yes, this person. All have in common? I'll wait. They're all essential workers. So this week, we are going to say thank you to all of our essential workers in the community. It could be someone even living on your block or guess what? In your home. The mailman, the local grocery store clerk, your doctors, your nurses, and all of the delivery people that are dropping off packages. We need to go ahead and tell them thank you. So this is what you need for this week. These are all the items that we're using today, but you don't have to feel limited to just using this. You can use whatever you have or whatever you want. You can use paint, you can use glitter, be creative, be yourself, and what did we say last week? That's right, be great. So let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have a mason jar. It's plastic, so don't worry about breaking it. And I also have a pack of post-its. And I'm literally going to write some notes on there and put them in the jar. Kind of like this. Look at this magic trick that I'm going to do. Bibbity, boppity, boop. Okay, now we know I didn't do any magic. That was just some precise editing. But to get to the good stuff. So my daughter wanted to make some thank you notes of her own. As you can see, you can do some with words or you can do some with pictures. It is completely up to you. Along with the thank you jar that's full with different notes for our essential workers, I decided to make a little poster. You can make just about anything that shows your appreciation. I am so excited to see what you do with this week's challenge. And you already know the challenge is going to be dope because last week you guys killed it. Period. Did I do that right? I'm, I'm still working on the whole. Is it period? Period. You know what I'm trying to say. You guys killed it. So this week's challenge is... The Don't Rush Challenge. Like this. That was easy, right? All you have to do for the Don't Rush Challenge is literally take your blank canvas, bring it up to the camera, and then when you back up, they should see your masterpiece. Your masterpiece is your thank you letters for all of our essential workers. I cannot wait to share it. And I know that all of these people will be so happy that you recognize their hard work. Because honestly, it is really hard. Oh my gosh, mommy forgot to tell them something. I can't believe I almost forgot. When recording your video, please pass one of your painting tools to the side. Now don't forget, I need you guys to post all of your pictures. This challenge is important, not because of the challenge alone, but because we are thanking all of our essential workers and they need to know that they are appreciated and we appreciate them. So what I need you guys to do is make sure that you are tagging hashtag, hashtag, that's Vogue. Y'all know about Vogue. Anywho, hashtag BGCTB painting challenge. And let us see that don't rush video that you guys have been working on, but more so, the thank you card, the thank you notes, the thank you letters, the thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for coming back and thank you for watching. See you guys next week.